I'd like to welcome you if you're new to the channel. I'm Danny with Escape Power Sports and today we're going to be adding some basic maintenance videos to our step-by-step how-to video playlist for your KTM four-stroke dirt bike. And in this video I want to share with you all the step-by-step -step procedure I like to use whenever I change the engine oil in my KTM 530. So feel free to pause the video on any of these slides to see the tools, parts, and beers required to get this KTM oil change done. Or pause here to see an overview of this fairly straightforward three beer job. Let's get started. So the KTM manual says we need to start this job with the bike warmed up and on a fairly level surface or dirt bike stand. And grab a suitable container to drain our oil into, in this case a chopped in half $2 Walmart bucket. And I like to turn this little knob counterclockwise to remove the skid plate so it doesn't get covered in oil. Now if your bike is like mine, you'll notice two drain plugs sticking out towards the back on the bottom of the case. And on this 530, the KTM book says the 13 millimeter drain bolt on the left is our engine oil plug and screen. So we'll remove it to drain the engine oil. And that plug on the right holds the gearbox oil. So don't worry, we'll talk all about it in the next video in this series. That'll show the step-by-step -step procedure for changing out the tranny fluid in these bikes. Might also not be a bad time to go ahead and inspect that oil screen for any excessive metal shavings or debris, as that would probably not be a good sign for the engine's overall health. Now the KT manual also mentions that we need to thoroughly clean the oil screen attached to our drain plug and wipe the sealing surfaces before we reinstall this drain plug. Now with everything cleaned up, we can carry carefully reinstall our drain plug with the little screen attached to it. And I really like to see it thread in smoothly and easily by hand to know it's not cross threading or stripping anything. And torque specs are only 20 newton meters or 14.8 foot pounds for this plug. So I just make sure it's good and tight with a small wrench and try to avoid over torquing it with a big ratchet or impact. With the oil drained out the bottom and the drain plug reinstalled, it's time to locate the oil filter housing on the front driver's side or the front chain side of our engine. You should see it tucked below and in front of the oil filler cap on this 530 with its two Torx T30 star screws, which I went ahead and removed to remove the oil filter cover. Now with the cover off, it's time to try and wrestle that oil filter out of there. And of course, KTM sells a special reverse circlet pliers to pull this filter. But I've always found just opening some needle nose or two small picks pulled apart allows me to easily wiggle the filter out enough to get a hold of it. Then the KTM book told me I need to thoroughly clean the uh, oil filter cover and allow the oil to completely drain out of the housing before wiping the ceiling area. Then the KTM manual tells us to do something kind of strange and lay the bike over down onto the ground on the passenger side. Gently, of course which at first might seem kind of sketchy, but the request makes sense to ensure the new filter is properly lubed and saturated with oil to allow instant filtered oil pressure on startup and ensure all this bike's delicate motor parts get the proper lubrication as quickly as possible. Probably definitely gonna wanna make sure you turn the gas off before you lay the bike over. That'd have been smarter for sure. Just leaked a little bit though. We'll get right back to it. So I followed the manual suggestion to then fill the oil filter cavity a third of the way up with engine oil and to fill the new filter up with oil before popping the rubber boot side of the filter back down in that hole. And I gave the oil filter cap and sealing surface one more wipe down before wiping a dab of oil on the rubber o-ring going around the oil filter cap for a good seal. And I also gave this rubber o-ring on the oil filter cap a quick visual inspection as you'll want to replace this o-ring on the oil filter cover if it has any cracks or rips. But with oil in the cavity and the filter and our o-ring inspected and lubed up we can pop our oil filter cap back on and secure it with the two Torx T30 star bolts. And I like to use this screwdriver style driver for this as the oil filter cover bolts only take 10 newton meters or 7.4 foot pounds of torque, which ain't much force at all y'all. And carelessly over tightening with a ratchet or impact can tear that o-ring on the cover causing a leak or worse, strip the threads into the case forever. So we'll just snug them up like so. Now it's time for some backyard enduro training to pick her back up on her feet. And we can move on to filling this bee's back up with lube by grabbing a funnel and removing the oil filler cap on the middle kind of front, I don't know, front middle of the uh, driver's side of the motor. And begin adding an additional 550 milliliters of oil to bring us to the correct total capacity of 600 milliliters. So as far as what kind of oil to use, of course KTM suggests using their Motorex Cross Power 4T. But after the book suggested SA 10W50 and a few local dealers suggested I run 10W40, I decided to go with Mobile One's full synthetic 4T SA 10W40 because it's affordable and I really like Mobile One. 
But comment below what brand and viscosity you prefer to run in your KTM engine. And with the engine's prescribed 600 milliliters of oil added, I like to spray the oil filter and drain plug areas with some engine degreaser and hose off the mess to make checking for leaks easier. So with our 600 milliliters of oil added and these areas cleaned up, I'll crank her up briefly, checking for leaks around the oil filter housing and drain plug. Before killing the bike before she has a chance to warm all the way up and checking the shot glass cold on the driver's side of the motor. Wanting to see that the oil level is reading halfway up this shot glass with the bike perfectly upright and level. And I'll add a little oil if necessary to bring the level into the middle of that shot glass. So I really hope you found some of the information in this how-to video helpful for your KTM dirt bike. And if you did find it helpful, do me a quick favor and give the video a thumbs up. And of course, as always, if it wasn't helpful or if I miss anything or you have any thoughts or suggestions on how I can improve these videos or really any comments on this topic in general, please leave a comment in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd like to welcome you if you're new to the channel. I'm Danny with Escape Power Sports. I really want to thank y'all for watching. And as always, we'll see y'all on the trails.